56.42. On one occasion, the Blessed One was dwelling at Rajagaha on Mount Valja Peak. Then the Blessed One addressed the monks thus, Come monks, let us go to Patibana Peak for the day's abiding. Yes, Venerable Sir, those monks replied. Then the Blessed One, together with a number of monks, went to Patibana Peak. A certain monk saw the steep precipice of the Patibana Peak and said to the Blessed One, That precipice is indeed steep, Venerable Sir. That precipice is indeed is extremely frightful. But is there, Venerable Sir, any other precipice steeper and more frightful than that one? And the Buddha said, There is, monk. But what, Venerable Sir, is that precipice deeper and more frightful than that one? And the Buddha said, Those ascetics and Brahmins, monk, who do not understand as it really is, this is suffering. Who do not understand as it really is, this is the origin of suffering. Who do not understand as it really is, this is the cessation of suffering. Who do not understand as it really is, this is the way leading to the cessation of suffering. The delight in volition that leads to birth. In volition that leads to aging, in volition that leads to death, in volition that leads to sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure, and despair. Delighting in volition, they generate volition that leads to birth, generate volitions that lead to aging, generate volitions that lead to death, generate volitions that lead to sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure, and despair. Having generated such volitions, they tumble down the precipice of birth, tumble down the precipice of aging, tumble down the precipice of death, tumble down the precipice of sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure, and despair. They are not free from birth, aging, and death, not free from sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure, and despair, not free from suffering, I say. But monks, those ascetics and Brahmins who understand as it really is, this is suffering, this is the origin of suffering. This is the cessation of suffering. This is the way leading to the cessation of suffering. They do not delight in volitions that lead to birth, nor in volitions that lead to aging, nor in volitions that lead to death, nor in volitions that lead to sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure, and despair. Not delighting in such volitions, they do not generate volitions that lead to birth, nor generate volitions that lead to aging, nor generate volitions that lead to death, nor generate volitions that lead to sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure, and despair. Not having generated such volitions, they do not tumble down the precipice of birth, nor tumble down the precipice of aging, nor tumble down the precipice of death, nor tumble down the precipice of sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure, and despair. They are free from birth, aging, and death, Free from sorrow, lamentation, pain, displeasure, and despair. Free from suffering, I say. Therefore, monks, an exertion should be made to understand. This is suffering. This is the origin of suffering. This is cessation of suffering. This is the way leading to the cessation of suffering. This is the end of the sutta. So here, the Buddha brought the monks up the hill. Eh? And when they saw this precipice, eh, which is very steep, eh? The monk said, nah, this is extremely dangerous precipice. Nah. Because if you fall down this precipice, nah, you will surely die. Nah. So it's extremely dangerous. So he asked the Buddha, is there any other precipice more dangerous? The Buddha said, yes. The precipice of samsara. We fall down the precipice of samsara. Nah. We don't die only once. Nah. We die many, many times. Nah. Endless times. Nah. And even before we, each time we die, nah, we suffer so much. Nah. So every lifetime we come... Nah, Unless we are born in heaven, uh, every lifetime we come, uh, we suffer. Even as human beings, we suffer. And much worse, uh, if you are reborn as a ghost, or as an animal, or in hell. So, this uh, precipice of samsara uh, is not something uh, to play with. Uh, don't take it lightly. It's only because we haven't seen uh, how ghosts live uh, uh, that we take life lightly. If you have seen... Uh, how ghosts live, eh? or if you know about hell, eh? then eh, you won't take things so lightly.